What did you think of the, the progress the team made in the exhibition game the other night? You know, you play those games to, to see if you've made some steps along the way, and I think we have. Um, some really good highlights. I think one of the things I was most pleased with, second half, 16 baskets, 15 assists. Uh, so, you know, it, it took us a little while to get going offensively in terms of, you know, again, just uh, playing connected and understanding roles and what we're trying to get done. But I thought in the second half, uh, we took a big step in terms of that. Defensively, we showed some, uh, some good things at times. We need to continue to improve in that. And I thought we were very good on the glass, um, you know, from a lot of different spots. We, we could be a, a very good rebounding team because our guards are good rebounders. Uh, we have some guards with some size and some strength and so forth, and they can really help us there. So, uh, you know, we, we improve from one weekend to the next, and that's what you want to do. And now as things get for real now, you, you got to continue to make that progress every single day in practice. What was the offseason like for you, getting to know your players and your players getting to know you? Well, you, you know, you, you spend a lot of time. You know, because that's the best way for those guys to start gaining their trust in myself and the entire coaching staff and us also getting to know them, uh, the right buttons to push, how guys respond to different uh, things. Uh, and it's still, to be honest with you, a work in progress, you know, because everybody is, is new. Uh, but it's something that only time, it's one of those things in the rebuilding process or the building process that happens that only time can really, and you try to accelerate it, uh, but it's, it's, uh, it's the biggest challenge, it really is. And you have to have a good group of guys, and, and thank goodness we have that. Talk about changing a losing culture into a winning culture, you need that time. That yeah, you know, the cultural shift is always the, you know, the biggest challenge in that. And, and although I think our guys understand it, living it on a daily basis is, you know, a totally different thing. Uh, but the guys have, you know, uh, are open to it, and they want to. And that's, you know, a big step for us to take. Um, you know, just understanding what, how we go about doing things because the cultural base is the foundation for everything that you build on. And as I said after the game, so many positive things have happened in this program behind the scenes that are very, very important. Uh, and now the next phase it, is for it to happen on the court as well. Probably something I could ask you on day one daunting challenge you had in front of you, considering the way this program has struggled, never had any sustained success. Do you just appreciate the magnitude of the challenge in front of you? Well, it, it, there's an excitement every day because of that. Uh, I think there's an excitement among our, our players as well for them being part of that shift. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, I think guys realize that it's only going to continue to improve but they could be part of that foundation that, that, we're, trying to, that we're trying to build. Um, it is a process. It's one step at a time, mm -hmm. you know, and, and you just have to, again, you, you can't worry about the future. You don't know what that is, is going to hold, but what you do is you have the choice. Do you look at it as the positive mm -hmm. things that can happen in the future or the negative? Why in the world would you want to look at it in the negative? We, we always want to look at it in the positive. These are the things that we're going to get to. These are the things that we want to do. But you have to control the things you can control, and that's today. You know, the most important thing in our program right now is for us to have a great practice today. And as our guys do that and you continue to build, it's, you know, now, you, now you're starting to have that uh, solid base that you can continue to grow from. Obviously. You're a guy that embraces challenge, but did you have anybody say, "Don't take that job"? No, no, not no, because you know, I I think from the outside looking in, as I've said many many times, this program has so many of the qualities that you need to build something special. Mm -hmm. um, and again, does it take a positive attitude to maybe sift through some of the things that have happened and and find those? Yeah, it does, but. Uh, those are the kind of players we want to recruit. That's the kind of staff that I've been fortunate enough to assemble with the support of our administration. And that's the kind of guy I am. So when you look at that, that's, you know, again, that's the starting blocks right there. That is the starting blocks. And, and uh, what you're always trying to do, and, and, and I'm very fortunate to work at a university where on a daily basis, what do we need to do to keep moving the program forward? And, and when you have that kind of support, it's, it 
it makes the job fun, you know, and it's it's something that I think my staff and the players and obviously myself all take a great amount of pride in. I imagine you'd like to bottle up Peyton Banks' shooting performance from the other night. <laughs> yeah, you know, and, and again, you know, one of the, like, for example, a great challenge for Peyton mm -hmm. is to be more than what, than just a shooter. We know he can, we know he can do that. Now, will I take six threes every game? Yeah, there's no <laughs> doubt about that. But he can do more, and, and he had a couple really strong drives in that game and didn't finish. We need him to finish. But I got on him pretty good this past week about his rebounding. He gets five defensive rebounds for us. His offensive rebound uh, percentage rate in terms of going went from you know, a very low number the weekend before to over 50%. Now we need it at 80%. Yeah. And that's, that's something that's never been asked of him. Uh, but that's something that we're going to need from him. Coach, can you talk about your team's length and athleticism? Well, I think it's one of our greatest strengths right now is um, as we learn, especially on the defensive end, how we want to play and how we need to play, sometimes that, that length and athleticism can make up for some mistakes. I thought you saw that a couple times on Friday night. Uh, we've seen it in practice. We saw it in the close scrimmage. And that's something, if guys are flying around, that's why we talk about it. If you're playing hard, playing with great energy, we're going to make mistakes. The game of basketball is a game of constant mistakes. Can you cover up for them? Do you have the guys behind you to cover up for them? Because they're in the right position. And maybe if they're not in the right position, are they playing hard enough to use that length and athleticism to kind of you know, cover up that mistake? And we're not at the clip that I'd like to be at with that, but we're definitely progressing in the right direction. Yeah, All good? You've had a lot of recruiting success with the 2018 class. Um, this week is the early signing period. Yep. What's your message been to those 2018 prospects to, to get them to come on board? Well, obviously, we highlight all the great things that coming to the University of South Florida and playing in our program, uh, can the position that that will put them in. Uh, obviously, you know, a first-class education, playing at highest level in terms of competition who we're playing against, the facilities, what their daily life will be like here as a college athlete at the University of South Florida. Every tool, every resource that they need, they have to become their very best, to grow as a man, to become a great student and earn their degree and to become the very best player that they can be. Um, we want to recruit guys that that resonates with, that that's exactly what they're looking for. And then with each individual, it's how they fit into our program, where we see them as freshmen, where we see them down the road also in terms of their progression as a, as a player, and also being part of something, building something very, very special. And that takes a unique kid, you know, the, the guys that sign with us from the spring to early signing period in the fall, they've already passed a major test because, um, let's be honest, you know, in the recruiting, we know what others, you know, what, what are our negatives. And we, we address those with the guys uh, during the recruiting process because I want guys coming in with their eyes wide open, with both feet in, so they know exactly what they're getting into, but, but down the road what they're going to get out of it as well. You guys had a really good uh, showing in the exhibition. Just what kind of momentum did you guys build off of that one? Uh, off that one, we know like we got better chemistry-wise. Um, Got a good feel for the court, things, things like that, playing in the dome. So moving forward, we think that was a big step for us. What do you think you guys learned about yourselves in that game? Uh, we could play together real well. Um, a lot of our points have come off a lot of assists, playing together, playing the system the right way, things like that. Heading into the season, what would you say the strengths of the team are right now? Strengths of the team, um, everybody could score. Uh, we all could run real well, so we play a fast-paced game. So that helps a lot. As long as you're going to have to keep up with the Bulls. Yeah, well. <laughs> How encouraging was that to see, too, all that hard work that you guys are putting in? It, it kind of translated to the game with Coach Gregory being such a hands-on coach and, and kind of taking you guys every step of the way. Uh, it felt good, of course, knowing that all your hard work paid off, especially from the summertime. And um, moving forward, especially with Coach Gregory, he's still going to keep pushing us, focusing on the bigger picture of possibly winning the championship, doing what we got to do. 
had a lot of sets where you had two point guards on the court at the same time, and a lot of teams are doing that. Mm-hmm. How often do you think you're going to be doing that this season? Um, can't say how much, but um, when you have two point guards, of course, it's easy, you know, to get everybody involved, things like that. More assists on the court, and then better passing on the court too. So that helps. What was the off season like? Getting to know Coach Gregory and him getting to know you guys. You guys feel like you're all on the same page right now? Yeah, we all getting still working, getting on the same page. But um, the off season, of course, buying into a new system, getting familiar with a new coaching staff. That was kind of tough at first, and being as though like I played somewhere for three years, had to learn like a whole new system. That was tough. Yeah. You appreciate the magnitude of this challenge facing this team. This program hasn't even averaged 10 wins over the last five years. Mm. Only three NCAA tournaments ever. You know you know where you guys are picked. Do you mm-hmm. understand just the magnitude of this challenge? Yeah, we embrace that challenge a lot, especially knowing like what people think of South Florida basketball. We know we got the great opportunity to change that around completely. So we embrace that a lot. You're from another part of the country. Um, or played it in a different place. Mm. What do you think people think of South Florida basketball? As of right now, of course, you know, like from the past year, they think South Florida basketball is not that good. Mm-hmm. But we believe in, you know, what we're doing, what we, how hard we work every day that we could change that. Anything else, Mr. Vaughn? One more question. Um, you only have two players on this team that have really played significant time together, and obviously it was at Penn State with Peyton and, and T. Sam. Mm-hmm. The coach, Coach Gregory has talked a lot about players being connected. Could you talk about that a little bit? Uh, connected as far as having each other back, as far as like defense rotation, things like that, learning how to play with each other. And we still connected because we practiced four hours, probably about 30 times so far. So our team's chemistry is still building. So I feel like we're pretty connected. Well, you had a good performance the other night. How did it feel to, to get on the court and run with the team in a game situation for the first time? Uh, it was it was a lot. I had a lot of adrenaline going into the game. But all my teammates who have been playing collegially for a while, they had my back. They were just telling me, go out there, play my game. Don't worry about making mistakes. Just play basketball. I mean, and obviously that's what we did. We went out there and we played in a system that BG has set out for us. And when we do that, we have a great chance of winning every time. So. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun just just playing basketball. I enjoy it. Yeah. You know, we have stuff on the same thing. What is the adjustment period been like with Coach Gregory? It's been it's been a process for sure. It's been a fun process though. I've enjoyed it. Um, all of us, basically pretty much all of us were recruited by BG or BG the people that stayed, he wanted them to stay just to build this program. And the adjustment process has been it's been it's been a long one, and it's, it's coming together. We see it coming together, and we see the pro- progress that we're making. So we're just trusting the uh, process that BG's putting us through right now. How excited are the players to put the past behind with this program and, and, and start a new legacy, start some winning around here? Yeah, we're all really excited. We're ready to show everyone what we're made of. We have a lot of um, high expectations with BG and everything, and we have some people that are thinking we're going to be the South Florida that there was in the past. but. I mean, we all we put all of those the criticisms and uh, the predictions aside. We just go out, play our game, and show everyone what we're made of. So, yeah. When you were re- recruiting, did anybody try to deter you from USF and say, "Oh man, that program's gone nowhere"? Did you hear that? Oh yeah, a lot. A lot of other schools that were recruiting me, of course, tried to talk down USF, say like that. They had a lot of issues with their players and stuff like that. But I mean, I really listen to that. I like to go to the school myself and see see what it is like for myself and let meet the coaching staff. And I mean, I just trusted BG and the coaching staff when I came here. I knew that they were ready to change this around. So I mean, wasn't really thinking about what everybody else was saying. I'm glad that I, I listened to what BG had to say, and not what everyone else was saying. The staff definitely had a plan bringing in, you know, a lot of young players like yourself, but three mm-hmm. grad transfers. How, yeah. how much of having those guys that have been around programs before help with get the team acclimated for the season? Oh, yeah, it helps. It helps a lot having the people with experience on the team. They're kind of like mentors to the younger players. They have a lot of knowledge about the game and everything. So, I mean, with them having three grad transfers like Steph and Peyton and Terrence who've had experience playing, on winning programs and stuff like that. I mean, it helps us a lot just to get more of that winning mentality on our team. So, yeah, it's good. What's the biggest on-court adjustment you've had to make playing at this level? 
I'd say try not to do too much. Yeah, that's a big that's a big thing I like to do. I like to like make the big plays and stuff like that. I like being a playmaker. But as my role in the team, I realize that a lot of the time I don't have to do as much as I had to on previous teams that I played for because everyone on this team can find a way to score. Everybody on this team can pass. Everybody on this team plays defense. Everyone plays hard. So you don't really have to. It's kind of like I realized that I don't have to take on as like as a big as a responsibility as I had to in the past with players like this who know everyone knows their role. And that's probably the biggest thing, just knowing your role on a team like this and in a, like a, on a level like this. So that's probably the biggest thing, just playing my role. Friday night's opponent was a Division II school, but mm -hmm. they almost beat them by 30. Mm -hmm. Talk about the scene in the locker room after. We were pumped. We were definitely pumped. Just kind of, it just kind of opened up what we're about to show everybody, what we can, what we can do. And yeah, it was a Division II team, but this is pretty much our first game together. And all of us are new together. So. It was, it was great to see the team chemistry that we've been working on since the summertime pay off when we went out there and played in the game. So, yeah, we were pumped in the locker room after the game. Yeah, we were, we were really, really excited about what we're about to show everybody this upcoming Friday, so. Yeah. Coach told the booster group over the summer, he said, they're going to play defense or I'm going to kill them. Mm -hmm. What's the <laughs> defensive drill you dread the most? I had to say, we do this little drill, it's like a show. And we, it goes on for I don't even know how long. It can go on for at least a minute, minute and a half. A you, show? Yeah, it's called a show. So there's like four of us out there. Everyone has to get in help. Everyone has to get on the ball, rotate. And it, it wrote like the people that you're guarding, they rotate too. So you got to make sure where your man is and everything. You got to get in the helpline. You ready to take a charge, stuff like that. It's just, it's hectic. But when you get the hang of it, it actually helps you with your defensive principles. But it's a lot of work and it takes a lot of energy. He's a stickler for doing the lack of a better term for doing the dirty work, mm -hmm. the, the loose balls and the and the garbage rebounds, right? Yeah. Am I, am yeah. I accurate on that? Yes, yes. He's very he's very big on those on the little things because a lot of times the little things turn into the big things. So he's very big on that, just getting everything right and doing it the right way. Because when we do it the right way, we're gonna we're gonna win. So he's really big on those certain things like rebounding, boxing out, stuff like that, playing defense. So yeah, he's, he's big on that for sure. <laughs>